In this week's episode of Working with Todoist, I'm going to show you how you can restore and indeed review your completed tasks. Hello and welcome to episode 146 of my Working With To Doist series. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I want to show you how you can restore and if you wish review your completed tasks within a project or in general. Now the reason I'm doing this is because I've come across many many people discussing this in forums, in Facebook groups that I follow and really I wanted to show you there are essentially just two ways of doing this but both of them are really good. There's a really easy way of doing it and there's a rather more complex way of doing it and it really does depend on what you are specifically looking for. So I really want to get into this and to show you how you to do it. Really quick tutorial really today but I really want to get help you guys who, are, want to, who like to be able to review your tasks and what tasks have been completed within a project. So we're going to get into Todoist uh, but before we do that what I would like to say is if you like this video please click on the like button below and if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please subscribe. Oh and before we move any further I would like to ask you if you can stay right to the very end I have a very very special offer for you guys for March 2008 just in case you're watching this next year uh, right at the very end of this video so check that out see if it, it interests you in any way I think you might be very surprised. Okay let's get into Todoist and I'll show you what I mean. Okay so as you can see here we have a, uh, a project set up called New Designer Recruitment and we've got three tasks in here maybe you would have more if you were recruiting somebody but we have three tasks in here uh, ask Tanya to write up job advert for New Designer discuss with Michelle what she wants from a new designer and place an ad in the YEP which for those of you who don't know stands for the Yorkshire Evening Post job section for second week of March. Now let's imagine that this project has been around for a while and I'm wanting to get it actually completed and I think okay what's happened on this project? Well we have this little button down here which says if you've actually put your mouse over it it says show archive task. Now if you click on that uh, to do it does its thing and then it brings up the tasks that have already been completed on this project. So this is a wonderful way of reviewing what has actually been completed on a project. <clears throat> now to restore, and this is actually the easiest way to restore tasks that you may have accidentally uh, completed without uh, thinking about it and you missed the, the button down at the bottom here. All you have to do is just uncheck them. So you can uncheck these tasks and now all of these tasks are back in your project. So then you can reorganize them and sort of set up. So maybe that's the one that I want to do. Uh, I'm going to ask Freddie first. So you could actually have these tasks restored very simply. So the first way and actually what I described in the beginning there's an easy way and there's a less easy way. This is the easiest way. So if you complete the first three tasks and you're, they're done then what you can do is you can go into the uh, it's not actually there so what I'm going to do is go back and then you can comes up so you may have to click out if you're doing it immediately click out and then your little button the, the kind of the anti-clockwise clock and it will bring back the task that you actually completed so that's one way the second way to do it is to go into your karma points here so if you go into your karma points you've got this function here which says view all completed tasks so if you click on that uh, and now that's going to load all the tasks that I've completed uh, ever from when I started with Todoist. Now um, there's only me in this, uh, there's nobody else actually because this is my personal account. Now you can actually filter this by completed tasks, added tasks, updated tasks, completed, uncompleted, deleted, added. Uh, you can actually filter this but I find this is the more difficult way of actually um, 
reviewing your task. Now, people have often said, well, the, uh, this is fine, but there's no checkbox here to you to be able to restore the task. Now, this is actually quite easy because all you have to do is, if you remember from the new designer recruitment, so I'll take you back in there, I've completed three tasks. Now, if I go back into here, these are the tasks that I actually completed recently. So what I can do is I can go to the speech button at the thing. This is for adding notes. Click on that. And now you have the option to uncheck. So now I've unchecked that task and come out. If we go back into the new recruit designer, it's come back in. So that's another way that you can do it. So just to review that one, uh, I'll go back into the thing. View all completed tasks. So it'll bring all the tasks that you completed in the history. Go to the note section at the end here, which is on the right hand side. Click on that and you can uncheck it. And there we go. Actually, I need to we'll go down to this one. Um, some of these tasks uh, have been done, but you can actually just go in there. You can uncheck like here. I can uncheck that and it will bring the task back in to my recruit new designer. So those are the two ways. But the best way to do it actually is just to, to click on the um, the clock on the in the actual project itself and it will show you the task and to re simply restore it just uncheck the task okay hopefully that's given you a clear perspective now of how to, you can review your completed tasks within a project complete review all your completed tasks and restore tasks hopefully that's given you some food uh, some tips and tricks on using Todoist thank you very much for watching this episode it just remains for me now to wish you all a very very productive week. Thank you for sticking around to the end guys. What I want to do is to tell you about March's, March 2008's online course special offer. I have put the special offer on my complete guide to creating a successful life. This month and for this month only I am offering you 50% off. Yes that's right 50% off on this course. Now this course is part of my premium online course series and it is designed to take you on a journey of self-discovery and evaluation so that you can find out what it actually is that you want to achieve in your life. Now we all want the same thing out of life. We all want to be happy. The difference of course is what makes us happy. Everyone has different things that make us happy. So I really want you to get yourself involved in this course because I want to help as many people as I possibly can to discover what they want to achieve in their life and then build a plan to be able to create exactly what they want to achieve. So that's what this course is all about. <clears throat> There's over three hours or just about three hours of lectures on this course broken down into five to ten minutes of each lesson and there's download files you can get yourself enrolled for 50% off in March 2018. All you have to do is click on the link in the notes section below and get yourself enrolled. I hope to see you there. Thank you very much for watching this video and I'll see you in the next episode.